Hello, Bill McCray here. I want to talk to you about WP Traffic. Uh, this is our homepage. You probably visited this and you probably have typed in your username and password and landed on our thank you page. So I'm going to go to our thank you page. Okay, so once you've opted in, you will end up on this landing page. On this landing page, there'll be a bunch of videos on how to install the plugins that we're going to recommend to people. None of them are up yet. I'm working on them. This is how to install this plugin. First thing you want to do is make sure you download. Just simply click on it and it will download to wherever your default download location is. In my case, it went to my download folder. You can move it wherever you want. You just need to know where it is so you can install it. I'm going to go to a WordPress blog that I'm going to install it into. It's actually a product blog. Uh, first thing is I always like to make sure the blog is updated with the most current version. And then what we're going to do is we're going to install this plugin in this blog and it is a product blog, which is an actually very cool thing because what we can do with this is drive traffic to our offers on our sales letters. And it works very well. Matter of fact, I sell every day using this program. That's why we have it available. Okay, now you simply want to go back to your home page here just by clicking home. Move the screen just a little bit over so it's a little easier to see it. And we're going to migrate down to the plugins. I'm going to go to install, add new. Click on that link. And this is where we add new plugins. It's not in the library. You're going to have to upload it. So what we want to do is hit Upload Plugins, Choose File, then you go to wherever you downloaded your file. In my case, I downloaded it to the download folder. Each computer is set up with a different location to automatically download files. So I'm going to pick WP Traffic Pro and then click Open. And then I click the install button. That's going to upload the file and activate it and get it ready to, ins to activate. It's been uploaded and installed just to activate the plugin. Now, what WP uh, Traffic does is it has a YouTube poster core as the main plugin. And we'll have a, a training on setting that up in another video. And this will allow you to post your own YouTube videos. It's similar to a plugin called WP Content Central that we have. But more importantly, it has a series of plugins that I've tested and they all work incredibly well for installing and driving and managing traffic. And they're all free plugins available here. There are some that have paid versions if you want to buy them. I buy some, I don't others. And all you need to do to install these plugins into your website is click, you know, look at the list of plugins that's available. You click install from WordPress.org. They're all serviced there. Like I'm doing that right now with WP Statistics. And tell it to activate. Click activate. And then that plugin comes up and is completely uh, activated and ready to run. But you still need to learn how to use it. So we're going to create training videos for all these things. So you'll be able to come here and go to tutorial videos right here by clicking on this link. Now, I don't have anything created yet, but I will for every one of these plugins. Um, I recommend you install all of these, uh, but there are some that are optional. Um, what we're going to do is create an, a, essentially an automated blog, and we're going to drive content through a combination of social media, Twitter, other things like that. It's a, it's really a serious thing. We have some content systems in here. If you want to create your own content, like podcast or here, or a curation system. I use curation on almost all my blogs. And we have a support desk. So we have a few additional features in here. Like I can install a support desk here to run my support for my product. And it's all installed within the blog. So it's actually an ideal scenario and something I actually want to do for this particular product. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that now. So you can go through and pick out the plugins you want to install. Um, the two that you probably do not need to install right off the bat, unless you plan on doing them, would be the, po the podcasting and the content curation system. Uh, both of which, like the content curation system is pretty complex. We're not going to provide training on that. You'll be able to get training from um, the link that we provide. will go to the right place to find training. The other one that's pretty important to install is the block, the uh, bot RX deter block, but you'll have to register for an account. You'll need a separate account 
for each one. It's free. There are upgrades you can buy, but honestly, you don't need it. I'll let you know the things that I buy and those things I don't buy as I go through the training on each plugin. But that's the whole idea behind WP Traffic is this way you don't have to do a lot of research on which plugins work well together and how they work well together and what they use. We provided it for you, plus we have a single source of training for most of these plugins. Uh, the only other thing I want to let you know is that uh, we can always update this from time to time as we find new plugins and stuff that are effective for our websites. We will probably come in here and add it to this, and you might come into this, you know, two months from now and find five more plugins that you can decide to, to install or not. Just look at it, and you'll see if it's installed on your blog based on whether it says active or install for WordPress. Block2 Social is probably the best piece of software that I use for traffic, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that right now, too, it's just so you can see again how simple it is. We've removed all the guessing about what you need to install to drive traffic to your website. They're all here and they're all free versions. Your decision to upgrade is based upon how you feel the plugin works for you. But it really makes it easy and it's all in one spot and you know it works. Otherwise, I wouldn't be messing with it. So that's what WP Traffic does.